Hi everyone, welcome back. So, as you guys can see, I did try the henna tattoos. My very first time trying this. It didn't go as planned, unfortunately. But, I would say, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And it happened the way it did. So, even though it didn't come out exactly how I thought it would. It was just a good experience to try it out to see what it's like. So, in my last video, you guys saw where I actually started with my hand. So, I applied the um, stencil um, outline to my hands and I began to apply like the ink. But I noticed that the way the, the texture of the actual stencil is it's like, it's paper, it's plastic, but it doesn't uh, blend well. It's not a good adhesive for the skin. So if I'm moving my fingers, and even without moving my fingers in my hands, it wasn't sticking. And that's the important part for henna to work. Um, it has to it has to stick, right? And so if it doesn't, the ink will seep under the stencil, and then it's just gonna be a big blur, right? So it was like it started to smudge, and so I don't know if you guys can see, but oh my gosh <laughs> it didn't work out for my hands so then I tried it actually on my neck um which I ended up having to wash that off because that didn't come out right because it was like a long tattoo that covered like the circumference or half circumference of my neck that didn't work out because like yeah your, your skin is malleable like it moves and the the stencil actually the, the paper the texture of the stencil it's not i don't think that it's complementary to like your skin right i think they should make like a different type more i think what, 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 would, it, what would it be called it would be like more like like latex almost i think they should make something similar to like the texture of latex for it actually to be adhesive to your skin so that when your skin moves as it will the stencil will move you know with it and it's not gonna lift or you know become fragmented because when it lifts you know it, it creates this this um gap for the ink to seep under and it just creates like a mess so that's kind of what happened with my hand and then with the first tattoo i did it for my neck but then I think I learned the trick. So the trick is really to use smaller pieces of stencil, right? So that it limits the movement um, when you're actually sticking it to your skin, right? So I did that. I actually cut small pieces here. I got two different ones that I'm going to show you guys at the end of this video. And then I did one on my inner arm. Um, so it came out half right and then half smudge, as you guys can see, because the middle part, it was actually lifting and that's where some of the ink kind of seeped under and it created a smudge. But apart from that, I'm like, okay, not bad. So I didn't get a chance like to clean it. So it's kind of like peeling a little bit, but I like it. I like the process of doing henna because... It's very relaxed and it kind of reminds me of when I first picked up my paintbrush and started to paint. Um, it just took me in a totally different world, a different dimension. I'm still ready to take this off. I've had this on for <laughs> over two hours now. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys actually what I got from the African Film Festival. So I, the past couple days, I actually um, been going to the African Film Festival, which is located at Lincoln center and they have like a plethora of different african films by some very talented writers directors producers so i got this i didn't get a chance to look at this but this is like a pamphlet i got yesterday i'll take a look at this later in my own time um and then i purchased this tote bag um which i didn't get a chance to read this either but it says the glory of freedom is a hymn a song full of dignity land of beaches hills and mountains let us be the land of hope i just feel like this bag should have been yellow something more bright something more reflective of african culture and then the shirt i also purchased yesterday i like the color 
color of it. So, they actually had a um African map puzzle I wanted to purchase, but she said that I she has to put me on the waiting list. So, hopefully they have it ready today so I can go ahead and pick that up. Um, the back of the shirt pretty much says the same thing as the tote bag. I like the color of the shirt. So, I'm about to go ahead and open this package I ordered from Empress Divine, who I came across on Instagram through this beautiful goddess that I follow. Her name is uh, Velvet Gabriella. Um, I think she goes by a different name on Instagram. I think she goes by Royal Femininity on Instagram. But she is the former wife and member of Carbon Nation um, and Lehio Bishop. And she actually was on her Instagram and she was showing us these wonderful products that I thought that I'd go ahead and support. Because she was actually, she's a brand ambassador for Empress Divine, um, Velvet is. And so I decided I'll go ahead and just check it out now. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> where do I open this at, okay. I am not good with knives at all. So I ordered a few things. I love the packaging already. Like, even when I first picked it up yesterday, I'm just like, look at the packaging. It's nice, beautiful color green. Custom made. You can tell she put a lot into her product. I mean, she put, you can tell, like, if she put a lot into the packaging of the product, then you can just only imagine the product itself is going to be like, ah, ah. All right. Um, so this is her. I was actually on a live, so she did an interview with Velvet um, the other day, and I was on that live where Velvet was helping her to promote her products, and she was trying it out, and I was like, you know what, I like to support black-owned businesses, so why not? I'm going to forget what I ordered. So I ordered Sun Soothing Body Oil, Good Naughty Herbal Hair Mist, Good Naughty Herbal Hair Food, and... Um, natural calming lavender whipped shea butter. Ooh. <laughs> so I ordered like two hair products and then two products for the body. Yeah, look at this. Makes you think that it's edible, but it's not. It just looks like it's edible. All right. Oh, this is a lot. This is pretty big. So this is a good naughty herbal hair food. Now, of course, there are a lot of Instagram people that I follow that sell like these natural plant-based products. I do not patronize every single person. That's the thing. I can't. Um, but I'm very selective. So, I would say this may be... Because I've ordered up, uh, from a few people online. I've ordered from this other um, former cult member of Carbon Nation, Nateri. I've ordered from her. She used to sell those um, goddess candles and, and money manifestation candles, which I did a video on that. So I ordered from her. And who else did I order online? I rarely order that much stuff from online, though. I have started ordering, like, clothes and stuff from online. But I'm going to try each one of these products out. I'm going to take them out first. So this box... You know what? I feel like some. I want some um, lemon, some lemon spray. So I got these four products. <laughs> Just makes you not want to throw the box away, right? All right. So I'm about to take this off because this shit is fucking hurting my head, y'all. I've had it on for a couple hours now. So, like I said, I did wash my hair. Um, after I dyed it, actually, I just said, uh, color, add some color to my hair. I added two different colors. Um, one was the red copper and the other one. My food is coming soon. Yes, because I'm so hungry. So, one of the colors I got was red copper and the other color is bronze. I love those colors. I fell in love with them. And I think I tried them out. I think 
for the first time last year and since it's just like that's my go-to color for my hair so um i purchased these two back in february and i didn't i wanted to wait because i don't like to color my hair that, that frequently so i purchased the, the colors back in february and i'm just now putting them on my hair so my hair smells so good i love the conditioner so basically what I did, and this can dub as like a freeform lock update. Anytime I do something with my locks and I uh, come to you guys live, uh, might as well make it a freeform lock update video. So what I did, I'm going to go, you guys can see that color. These, wait, which two? No, these two actually are the bronze color. And then the remainder is the red copper. And what I did, I didn't do it like on the length of my hair. I actually just did it just on my roots. But then in the back part, I actually put some like on the length of the my locks at the tips, the back. So I have my my rhyme and reason. Um, there it is. There it is. heavy because I ordered like $44 worth of food. <laughs> um, Alright, so wow. I can feel my hair. Sometimes people ask me like, is my hair heavy? I'm like, no it's not. But it does get heavy when I add water to it. It's just a tech notification saying my food is here. Alright, so I'm going to start with this. This hair mess. Good Naughty Herbal Hair Mist and Aqua Spring Water Aloe, Cocos Coconut Oil, Avocado Oil, Sweet Almond Oil, Jojoba Oil. It has a lot of different oils in it. It has lavender. I heard lavender is good for follicle stimulation and stimulates hair growth too. And it does have lemongrass, rosemary as well. So Let's see here. Is there a way to? There we go. It's a different, <laughs> different cap, right? All right. Mm. Okay. It has a really faint smell to it. I actually use uh, rose water spray, as you guys have seen me use here in my video. And the rose water spray is very faint too, but it seems like it's more potent um, or more detectable, shall I say, than this. Because honestly, I don't smell anything. I don't, but I can see that it has oils in it. I can see that the consistency of it. Because if it was just only spring water i'll be really pissed <laughs> i don't know how much i paid for these items how much did i pay i don't it doesn't say here how much i paid for them but i'm sure it says it in my email somewhere oh my food smells so good so i'm just gonna spray some more like on my scalp oh my food smells so good you guys yes i ordered Soul food, we're a combination of soul food and seafood. So I ordered some fish, I ordered some yams, mac and cheese, and I ordered some wings. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, that's enough. So Next thing is this herbal hair food. Wait, what did I do? 
Can be used on wet or dry hair, take desired amount, rub on scalp or hair strands. I gotta be mindful of the time because I do have an event I'm going to today. So it has unrefined shea butter, safflower, cocoa butter, coconut oil, grapeseed, rosemary, tea tree oil, lemongrass. I love tea tree. I actually shower with it. Hmm. I'm just going to put some on my edges. I hope that it's able to blend in though. I'm kind of worried a little bit that it's not going to blend in that well. My lighting situation. Oh my gosh. Is that better? It's actually dim the light. Um, I would say this is more of a moisturizer than styling gel. Though I'm going to use it as both. Hold on, let me crank it up a little bit. Alright, I'm so ready to take these these um, templates off, the stickers. So I'm going to use it now as like conditioning. And then I'm going to semi-style my hair. <laughs> I'm going to style it actually with styling gel before I head out though. To this event I like the way it feels though on my fingers I can say that much it has like this weird like very faint smell though it's kind of unusual for hair products to have a very faint smell right you just expect a little bit more potency than that but it's definitely soft. And I think I saw somewhere where she said that her products can be used like on little babies here too. So maybe that's why she makes it for the entire family. I like the colors though. So yeah, the cream, this cream definitely has to dissolve in my roots. It feels so good though. When I care for my hair, I love it. I'm trying to know, like, what does this smell like? Something. You know what? I think I'm smelling more of this thing on my neck, like the ink. <laughs> I'm smelling that more than I'm smelling this. That's what it is. I like the name though and the logo for her business, Empress. How fitting. so good y'all yes 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 honey yes I'm almost done that was quick y'all love ordering from this place because they are swift and they're actually located in Harlem but they get here pretty quick yo they don't know delivery drivers do not be playing at all. Be on their bikes pedaling. <laughs> you know they in shape, yo. You know them little joints in shape. Alright, I think I covered all of them. I have 12 tribal members here. I go to salon. Hell no, I go to no damn salon. I'm all 
the salon that I need, yo. Can't you tell? <laughs> My hair definitely eat up this shit. For real. Alright, I think that's enough. I'm gonna apply some. I didn't use that much. What do you say? I probably won't use this on a regular basis either. Cause I don't I don't really put much on my hair. And when I style my hair, I use what is that damn thing called? I showed you guys before the cream that I use, or well, more like gel that I use to style my hair. Which I don't think is organic. It's not. But it works though, it's pretty effective. Moving out those edges. My hair is getting so long now. Alright. Since these two are the same. Let me show you guys actually what I use. I'm about to use some now. As I style my hair. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of this here. Matter of fact, before I do that, I think these are dry. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Ah. Did it come out right? Ah. I don't know. I hope so. I feel like with the pain of the freaking tattoo, I hope it came out right. I can't barely see because the lighting. It looks like it came out as right as it's going to be. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to try out these skin products. I have another one right here. There you go. Could have been better. I think this is going to test me to just slow down and use my time because it I noticed like doing the henna you got to have very uh, patient hands <laughs> and use delicacy with it so this is what I use to style my hair shine and jam conditioning gel but actually you know what I take that back it does have some organic qualities I can echinacea. I'm pronouncing that right. It's made with echinacea. All right, so I'm gonna take these two and put these two together, and I heard about that freaking terrorist attack, which I'm not in an uproar about because I feel like all of this stuff that they're doing is intentional strategize and it's just trying to get people all in their emotions as a distraction when the person has control over your emotions then they control you so I think we got to be mindful of that as black people not to be so easily manipulated by these orchestrated events that they are doing the last being the one that just happened in Buffalo, New York. I think it was yesterday. Um, yeah, 
it's not that we're not impacted by it, because of course it impacts us. So we just got to be mindful of how we're impacted by it. All right, I think I'm going to pull these two together like this. Let's see. Not quite, but and then I'm gonna pull the the rest up in a high ponytail. Um, hold on, let me let me do this over again. It's not quite. And then you know what? I might just pull it all up. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do for today, and I'll try that style tomorrow when I'm actually in front of the mirror because it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult to see. Here's a small screen here on my camera. And then also with the lighting. It'd be better if I was like turned around sitting at my bar. But yeah, you see how this gel does wonders, okay? <laughs> okay. I like that bronze color because it matches my skin. Brings my skin complexion out even more. Alright. And my hair is still wet. It takes like two to three days for it to dry. As expected with having so much of it, right? Makes sense. Actually, I gotta leave here by one, so I'm definitely gonna be mindful of the time. No later than 1.15, I gotta be out of here. Well, actually, no, I gotta leave here by one, for real, for real. For real, for real. All right. Sure, I got it all smooth in. And then I plait it like so. I wonder how much this thing weighs. <laughs> Pretty heavy. Wowzers. Alright. I'm gonna tuck it. And like a little bun in the back. Probably gonna redo that, but that's good for now. You guys like to see the back? she put tape why she is it because it's seeping maybe I shouldn't touch that part let's see okay it's sealed I don't understand why okay interesting she put tape there to seal it now it says shake before you use take desired amount rub onto skin use before or during uh, sun exposure can also be applied after shower or bath 
that's probably most likely when I'll use it after I take a shower. I recommend it for all skin types. Smoother, more even skin in one week. It has almond oil, jojoba oil, glycerin, aloe, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, coconut oil, perfume oil, Empress Divine own fragrance blend with natural and essential oils. So they'll tell you like the other uh, main ones, right? And then they have their specialty oils that they keep secret. Secret recipe. I do like the packaging though. It's really cute. that much Ooh. oily just like I like it just like I need it too because yo I have really dry skin that's why I have to use fucking Vaseline but you know what now I thought about it since I got this I might stop using the Vaseline I might just start using this because I heard the Vaseline isn't really healthy on the skin it's not good to use but I've been using it oh it does smell good oh Second. Mm. I need a massage. I could go pay a hundred dollars to some Asian people to give me a full body massage. Or if I had a man, <laughs> I could just get one from him. But I don't. I love it. It doesn't require that much. So this is gonna last me a while. This is eight fluid ounces. Oh, yes, honey. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, yes. I'm like bathing in this stuff. Okay, so I realized with the henna, you should like clean it with um, a white. Once it's done, I didn't do that. So it's like part of it is peeling. But it's semi-permanent ink, so it stays for... Um, I don't know how long it stays. Maybe a couple of days. Ooh, glistening. <laughs> my like, my like. All right. And then the last thing I'm gonna try is this calming lavender shea butter. This is to moisturize face and body. And it has unrefined shea butter. Seems like it has the same ingredients as the hair one. Um, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, apricot oil, and lavender. Okay. Ooh. It's filled to the top. Ah, creamy. Creamy. I'm not going to use that much because I already have enough oil on as it is. to my event girl gonna be shining shining is that working now i'll be lifting weights it's actually paying off too all right so i'm done you guys i'm about to dig into this food thank you guys for tuning in as usual drinking lots of water staying stress and hater free helps to keep this glow going catch you guys later <laughs> oh drop your comments below and if you ever try empress divine feel free to share